everyone. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about four reasons why I love being a stay-at-home wife and a homemaker. The reason I'm sharing this is because I just feel deep down inside that there's a lot of women that want to be stay-at-home wives, stay-at-home moms, housewives. <laughs> I just feel like, and you guys, please tell me in the comments if you feel like this too, if you've heard this, I just feel like there's such a bad stigma between being uh, about being a stay-at-home wife nowadays. You know, I understand that like in, in the past, stay-at-home wives did have a bad stigma because there was, because like women didn't have rights and women were actually being oppressed like as a whole country and as maybe like a society and in the world. But now that's not the case. So I really would hope like I, it'd be so fun to see a movement towards back to uh, women staying home and being homemakers but in a new updated modern revised way <laughs> that um, isn't oppressing um, because staying at home is such a blessing and such a gift and not a negative thing for me at all i feel like that could be the case for a lot of women now uh, we just have to together start making that movement to that and i also feel like we all have to be brave and put ourselves out there because I feel like a lot of men might also want stay-at-home wives and moms, uh, but they might be scared to speak up and say that because they don't want to come off like uh, that old term of like being a stay-at-home wife and having it be a negative thing. I feel like we can all together work together to make it a happy, positive movement, and that's why I'm sharing these four things that I love, why I love being a... A housewife stay-at-home wife and I actually was very blessed and got to be a stay-at-home girlfriend for a few months yeah, my husband and I did live together before we were uh, married okay so let's get into the reasons I love being a stay-at-home wife and one day hopefully be God willing be a stay-at-home mom that would be great okay so first one is life slows down so much you know this is something I never knew before because I've had a job since I was 16 I actually just turned 27 so up until April of this year 2022 I had I've worked every single every single day five days a week I've, like since I was 16 I didn't really know that life could slow down this much it was so different and I actually had to stop working because I my hands were injured and I was doing massage therapy but either way life slows down a lot like for instance today I woke up really, really tired. I woke up to make my husband's breakfast and lunch for, for him to go to work to, and I just was able to go right back to sleep. I went to sleep and I slept for like three more hours and it was like not stressful. I didn't feel like I was like missing time or anything. Like I just, it was a blessing to be able to go back to sleep and sleep in until I wanted to. And that's like a benefit of having a slower moving life. You know, I don't have any children right now, so I'm sure in the future that won't be the case or maybe it can but either way it's a beautiful thing also slowing down like right now if you guys didn't i just posted a my testimony video and i've had this really like genuine deep desire to like read through the entire bible uh finally and i for the last like week have been spending two hours every morning just reading and reading until i wanted to stop reading and then I don't even notice how much time is passing by, but two hours pass by and I've just been reading the Bible. And like, I just look up and I'm just like, wow, that's, I'm so grateful because, you know, before I would maybe not have that much time or I would be more aware of the time and be like a little stressed or feel like I don't have time to do something like that. Also, when life slows down, like I can make baked goods or plan a, a more extravagant dinner. Or lately I've been, since it's really hot in the summer, I've really been liking to make cold snacks for my husband when he gets home from work because it's really really hot he's hot and i just feel like a nice cold refreshing snack for him is really nice i just like to give him that little treat like usually it's just a smoothie that takes me two minutes to come up with uh, but sometimes like uh, yesterday i made a shrimp cocktail a ceviche with you know shrimp and vegetables and chips and i had that ready for him when he got home so it was nice and refreshing and it's just nice to be able to do that that i know that when i was working or if i had work you know i'd probably be getting home right when he gets home and have to do all the other things that i did while he was at work <laughs> before i got to around making dinner or something so maybe that wouldn't be such a luxury that we have uh, even though i know i would be able to incorporate it at some point before i get into the other tips i do want to mention two things the first one is that if 
you aren't a stay-at-home mom and you have kids or you're not a stay-at-home wife and you don't want to be, I think that's totally fine. I think it's great. Like if, <laughs> I think it's either or. Like if, if you have like a huge desire to do whatever job you have and you have a huge calling and you're like, you know you're supposed to be doing that, I think that is amazing. Go for it. Like genuinely, genuinely, I think that's amazing. I think that's setting another type of really amazing example for your family and children and the people around you. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I'm just talking to the women that feel like they want to be stay-at-home wives and moms and they choose to not because it's there's such a stigma or a stereotype around it. Those are the women I'm talking to. Like, go for it. Be brave. Go after that. And who cares about the judgment around it? If that's what you want to do, that is also okay. And that's the women I'm speaking to. Um, not to the women that, you know, if you have, like, you want to have a career and do all, like, I think genuinely that's beautiful and you should do that. But if I feel like a lot of women feel like they should be working or something, something that they're not passionate about, but really deep down in their hearts, like they want to be home. Um, and th I, that's the women I'm hoping to reach and talk to and, and give a little bit of inspiration and motivation to like that you can have that. And then in future videos, I'll talk about how to transition, you know, hopefully if you are working into other things and future planning for that, keep an eye out for those videos. And speaking of future videos, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video if you liked it, turn on your notifications so you don't miss out on any other future videos that I may post around homemaking, being a stay-at-home wife, uh, healthy recipes, working out, routines, all of that fun stuff. Lots of tips, lots of tips. Okay, so let's get into number two. <laughs> the, the, the second reason I love being a stay-at-home wife is I have a lot of time for myself, a lot of time for self-care, and I think that is very important. I think that over pours into my family, my husband, especially like right now, I don't have any children. So if you don't have any kids and you do have like the opportunity to be a stay at home wife, like you have so much time for yourself. <laughs> and I think that's like beautiful because it might not be like that forever. Like I, like I was saying, like I've been wanting to read the Bible for hours and I get to do that. I get to go to the gym every single day that I want to. I have time to, you know, get ready and take care of like myself, my hair, my skin, read books and then improve my mind and like just have time for me and myself and I think that's a blessing like such a big blessing that's another reason why I really love being home okay the third reason I love being home is that I get to serve my husband and in the future I'll be able to serve my family like my children and my husband this isn't like some weird oppressive thing okay guys this is a really beautiful thing and remember okay throughout all this time, I get to be home and my husband is going out and working and paying for everything. So it's not like he's like a big old mean boss, like telling me what to do. You know, remember that we're like, this isn't a back in the day, <laughs> husband and wife, like that you hear about. This is like a modern, you know, more modern thing, like choosing a, a, a beautiful partner that like loves and cherishes you and then I get to serve him and I want to, that's the thing. Knowing that I get to just be frolicking around, like <laughs> doing whatever I want, that gives me such a grateful heart. And I mean, even if I didn't have to, I would even have that, I would still have and will have a very grateful heart towards my husband. And I want to do things for him that make his life easier. And you know, I'm just talking about my experience. If you talk to him, I'm sure he would say the same thing. He wants to do things to make my life easier, but he's not here. We're not talking about that side of it. I feel like I'm a woman so I can talk to women. I have a grateful heart for him. So I want to do things for him. And I feel like a way I serve him and my future family is for example, like making up routines and systems for the house. I made a video on four easy homemaking tips and I'll put that up in the card up here. Since I have the time and I have the, the time and energy to observe, okay, where do things end up happen, like landing? Where do the keys end up landing? Where does the laundry end up landing? Instead of getting upset that things aren't where they are, I can come up with a new system, put that into play so that the, f the family can adjust to the system. I, I have the time to go through and organize and declutter things so that when it's time for cleanup, there's space for everything. So I come up where all the dishes are gonna go, where the laundry goes, 
making sure the dresser is organized, making sure everything's organized and has a, a designated spot. And that's just like organizing tips like 101. I can talk about that in future videos. Taking time to go through and fine tune those systems so that everything has like a spot runs smoothly, okay? And this isn't like me telling the family and my husband what to do and this isn't, you know, him forcing me to do this. This is something I'm, we're doing as a team for the family so there's a system into play. We all agree to the system. So let's say it's the afternoon and it's time for a cleanup time because you know, everything's messy. Okay, so I've came up with a system. I've made sure throughout the day that there's, there's a spot for everything to be put back into. So instead of, you know, Gunner and I talking about where does this go? Where should I put this? There's not room for this. That's already all taken care of. So we can clean up the apartment you know we can put everything back together while me and him are having a discussion about our day a, a future plan or just you know checking in with each other or just like talking about anything and we can have that time to like talk and connect and and still be cleaning up because the systems are taking care of themselves um, instead of having a discussion <laughs> of like where is this gonna go? Why is this here? Or, you know, that, that's not a discussion. It's, we know where everything is gonna be put back to. Another way that I can serve, I have time to serve my husband and my family is by like coming up with a food menu and keeping or that organized. So I come up with a grocery list and meals in mind that I want to make throughout the week. And that way I, you know, some days I just want to, I'm craving something. So I decided we're eating this and that's fine. But it's fun to be able to be like, hey, like, hey, babe, like I have this or this I could make today. Do you have a preference? Like, are you craving anything? Like, what can I make you? You know, I don't have a preference today. So like these two options are good. I can make today. Um, sometimes I have, you know, just because of the schedule, sometimes, sometimes I have time to make you know, a dinner that makes takes an hour, hour and a half to make. And sometimes we're running around, like today we're gonna have a busy afternoon, so I'm gonna have to rely back onto one of my like 20 minute dinners that's like super easy to come up with and make. I have time to come up with those systems and I love that it's organized, that it works well. And I don't know, that just makes me really happy. <laughs> Cause like the way I see it is like, we all have to live in a house, right? We all have a home, you know, regardless of the home, we all live somewhere, um, God willing and eat food. And I just feel like if we all have to do that anyway, like why not have it be like an organized, well running system? Not always super clean and tidy, okay? That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying a system <laughs> that is into play. Like, for example, my desk was a mess for months, but now I have a system that works for it to keep it clean and organized. Uh, but it wasn't like that for a few months, and that's okay. Anyway, that's another reason. Okay, the fourth is uh, I have time to work on my mindset. We all know that term, happy wife, happy life, and I feel like it's always like directed towards the guys. And sure, like they all have their their part in it right but i think that um it actually comes i i like to take full responsibility for my own emotions i don't think anyone's in charge of my emotions except me i can i feel like we all have a choice to allow something to continue to bother us or to not the reason i say this is like this i take responsibility for it is because like if i'm in a good mood gunner's usually in a good mood okay if i'm in a bad mood like he's probably gonna <laughs> have like a bad day and sure like that's gonna happen you know it, it's just gonna happen that's life right guys sometimes people have disagreements or whatever uh but overall in general if i'm like feeling grateful i'm happy i am in like a right mindset like my gunners also have <laughs> having a good day okay and like uh because i feel like the person like being a homemaker like we're making the home it's such an important job like we have like i just imagine having kids and i don't know how to mom i'm i'm always like i have no idea how what kind of parent of i am i'm not saying i'm going to be a perfect parent i don't think that's a, a thing okay but i know that like i want my when when i have a big family when i have a family when i have children god willing i want them to like know me as a solution seeking positive minded mom like that does i didn't say like always happy always in a good mood but like always solution seeking and 
like positive looking right so like sometimes that means being in a bad mood but always having a looking for a solution to whatever issue it is and i think overall if that's my mindset i'm setting up my whole family for success if i'm because that statement is so true like happy happy wife happy life but it's not like someone else's responsibility to make sure i'm happy it's my responsibility to make sure that i'm happy and you know i can make a video into that that's like a deeper topic of like you know discussing your emotions and things like that but anyway you know but mindset i have time to work on my mindset i have time to to journal i have a lot of time to pray for my husband to have a good day for my family for me that is truly like so like such a blessing and a reason one of the biggest reasons that i love to be home because i have so much time to work on these things and i feel like i'm hoping and praying to have children soon and and be a mom and i just feel like me personally i want to implement all of these things now so that i have the outcome i'm hoping for i have a higher chance of the outcome i'm hoping for just like trying my best and i'm like such a planner <laughs> i like to plan everything having this be my responsibility being a home making sure the home like a house is not a home me making it a home is truly just such a blessing it really really is and i'm very grateful for it and i'm grateful that one of the things that makes me happy to be home is having that time to work and fine tune that mindset. You know, reading books, reading the Bible, journaling, exploring how I'm feeling. My biggest inspiration to like example that I've had in my life is my godparents. They've been married for, they're gonna reach 48 years this year of marriage. You know, my mom's never worked. My dad, I call them mom and dad. <laughs> they're my godparents. My godfather, has always worked and my godmother has always stayed home she did other things like to make money like babysitting and i and the nice thing about the modern world now is too like we all have internet access like i i'm here making money i make a little bit of extra income with my videos there's other ways that we can do that too just to like you know go after our passions and our dreams like that's another thing i love being home is like i get to if i want to spend the whole day like creating and making a video like i get to do that and that's beautiful with my channel i hope to maybe be an example to someone if you've never had an example to look up to of like how you know being home looks while your husband's working you know hopefully you can find that in within my videos and future videos because i'm very blessed to have had a really good example of that and i do look up to that a lot and you know make my own spin on it and <laughs> make it my own which i think everyone should do but yeah hopefully i can be an example to you if you've never had that or just inspiration motivation to keep keep after it if we feel like pressure to do something or to make more money or to be working or i don't know i don't know speaking of working i actually am going to be getting a part-time job soon and i'm going to be making a video on how to keep that stay at home wife stay at home mom mindset while going to work or going back to work and i'm going to be talking about that in a video so again subscribe to the channel let's keep an eye out for that video and if you've made it to this part of the video thank you so much i hope you got some value some perspective out of this video and i hope to see you back here soon have a beautiful day bye guys